Guest, come join me, ha ha. Don't be shy, come on. Are the people here this open? To think she's bathing naked on the side of the road, completely unconcerned. Who said they were human? Just like the ones we encountered before. They're just a bunch of lost souls hiding in the crevices, clinging on to other people's bodies. The Qingluo Kingdom, Dong Fan Yin, so this is his place. A friend of Master's? No, but I know something about him. Tower, go around to the back of the palace and look for a kind of fiery red fruit. I'll go see the people inside myself. Master, you're not planning on doing something bad, are you? How, how is this possible? Miss. Miss? Who? Don't be afraid, miss. I am a maidservant from the palace. That great mage is currently a guest in the palace, chatting happily with my master. My master learned that you were waiting here and asked this servant to bring you some pastries. Please step out of this circle so you can receive them. Can't you just hand them to me? Even a god realm expert wouldn't be able to enter this circle, let alone a mere servant like myself. I'm afraid I would be reduced to ashes if I even stepped in slightly. A circle he drew so casually is this powerful? Could he really be protecting me? First, tell me what this place is and how you all live here. The people outside probably don't even know its name anymore. But a long time ago, this was the Qingluo Kingdom. It was once a prosperous nation, however, the emperor of Chiluo took a very beautiful concubine, and the celestial emperor in the nine heavens also took a liking to her, he demanded our emperor to hand over his beloved concubine. The emperor refused, which angered the celestial emperor, so he brought disaster upon the Qingluo kingdom, and because of that, our Qingluo kingdom was destroyed, only a small number of us survived, and now we live in seclusion deep underground. Miss Gong Xiao Xiao, right? That's what the great mage told us. The great mage also said that you should come out of this circle and rest in our master's chambers tonight. No need, go tell him that I'll wait here for him to pick me up. You can take the food back too. This, all right. Let me go. You entertain your guests by making them sleep with women? What kind of decency is that? How we entertain our guests is my master's business and it was that mage who insisted on it. What, that guy is inside with women? Our master has arranged six sisters to attend to the great mage. Six? He? No. I promised him I wouldn't leave the circle. But, but, what if he's just trying to get rid of me by leaving me here? Senior sister, you don't have to come out. Huh, senior sister? I have to go and bring master back. What are you doing? Hey, are you okay? Hold on, I'll stop the bleeding. Ha! You came out, my body. Let me go. It took me so much effort to trick you out. How could I bear to let you go, hee hee? Help. What? Just by drawing a circle, there are these changes. How terrifying is that person? It seems I can't stay here. Run? Without that circle, you can't escape. Behave yourself. Come with me. Help, help me. I don't think we're that close. What's the matter? Don't fan in, or should I call you, the emperor of Chiluo. Goo, goo. Don't move while you look like that. I can hear you. I didn't expect you to be such a lovesick emperor. You put in so much effort just to ask about her? Goo goo. What, do you think she still loves you? When you get a new body, you can go back to her? Forget it. To her, you're not even a passerby. Her love for power, her desire for status, are things you can't give her. Woo woo wa. What are you saying? Pure as driven snow, she's as pure as a blank sheet of paper. Are you sure you're talking about the same person? She's already forgotten you, the person by her side now is the heavenly emperor. So I have a better suggestion. Your longing will only make you sink deeper. This is your heart demon. If you don't break it, you'll never have peace. She's hurt you so badly, neither human nor ghost, wandering between life and death. You can't die. You can't live. You're still clinging to her? If she knew, would she sigh for you? It's been ten thousand years. There's no need to dwell on the past. Master, 
I've got the fruit you wanted. There are a lot over there. I've picked a lot. E? I? Bad timing? Ha ha. Ha ha ha, you old dog. You dare say I'm dwelling on the past? Then why? She's still by your side? Who are you calling an old dog? You old dog, you have the nerve to call me an old dog. You lick spittle. Now I'm going to add dead to that. What's wrong with being older than you? Are you still young? If you like living like this, then live like this. Who cares about you? If I see her again, I'll let her know. I've seen enough. You didn't even prepare a drink for me. Do you know how to treat a guest? I'm leaving. Oh, right. I took some of your fruit from the backyard. You won't be needing it anyways. Even after all this time. We both can't let go. Tian Yen. Do you feel pain? Master. The one sitting there. Person? What is that? It looks so scary. He's the emperor of Qingluo, Dong Fan Yin. He once rebelled against the heavenly emperor and ended up like this, either human nor ghost. But master, you said that wasn't your friend, and you seem quite happy. Is there? He was. He's been smiling since he came out, and hasn't stopped. Maybe after that incident, I'm not worthy of being their friend anymore. What incident? Don't ask so many questions, little kid. Why did he suddenly point at me and scare me? Who knows, maybe, he got the wrong person. Mistaken? Xiao Xiao? Where is she? Master Yen Yen Senior Sister Xi. She's been captured, humph, this pesky little vixen. Last time it was Jiu Yu Mingdu, this time it's Jiu Yu Emodu, next time, she'll probably go to Jiu Tian Shindu. Jiu Yu? The demon realm, fortunately, I can still sense her presence. It shouldn't be too difficult to open the door and find her. The only question is, can I withstand it? Take this, don't let go. What is this? It's your master's life. Where is this? Awake? Ah, that's a pity. It would have been less painful if you slept silently. Because here, but no one can save you. Help. Jiu Yu is not directly connected to the real world, but sometimes a passage opens up. It seems you fell into the Jiu Yu world by accident. Don't worry, you're a human. I'll take you out of here. I won't let you stay in the Jiu Yu world. Senior brother, how can you save any stray cat or dog in this place, Jiu Yu? And I smell an unpleasant scent. Ah, be careful not to expose your aura, or the nether monarch might sense you. The nether monarch isn't as forgiving as the mansion master. But we can't just leave this girl here after she wandered into this place. Master once said, To see injustice and take action, to help those in need, to sacrifice oneself to save others, these are the traditional virtues of our human race. As the saying goes, When you see injustice on the road, draw your sword to help. Enough, enough, you and your endless lectures. We're not here for sightseeing. You should focus on finding that item. I'll take care of this. Then I'll leave this young lady in your care, junior sister. Who are they? They seem very powerful. I'll be back soon. Sister, where is this place? The nether realm. The nether realm. The domain of the nether monarch. I want to go back to where I came from. Someone is waiting for me there. Do you know the way? There are countless realms in existence. Unless there's a formation mark left behind, it's, it's absolutely impossible to find your way back. I can take you back to our realm and give you a place to live, but as for sending you back, I don't have the time for that. I, I just want to go back. I've been wondering from the start. This familiar, disgusting. The aura of a godkin. Godkin? How can I be a godkin? Then let me see if you're truly a godkin. It hurts. Godkin? Godkin, the blood of a godkin. What a delightful scent. Godkin, so fragrant. Godkin. You're not one of us humans. You're just a half-breed hiding among us. But she also has human blood in her. What should I do? What should I do? She's not human. She's not human. But she has human blood. I can't kill her directly. But she also carries the filthy blood of the godkin. She... I submit to your judgment. I am human. I was born from my mother and raised by my parents. How am I not human? She's a godkin. 
Not a human, she's a godkin, not a human. The godkin, who enslaved and trampled upon humanity, doesn't deserve to live. No, no, don't. You troublesome little fairy. You've gotten me into such big trouble again. The 36th move of the Azure Dragon style. How is that possible? That's. That's. Moss Master. Junior Sister. What happened? Why are you shouting? Senior Brother. It's Master. I saw Master. He just left from over there. Master? Are you sure? How could I possibly be wrong, Master? It's Master. Don't worry, maybe you can still find some clues to track him. The human realms Gu Juin and Uxian, I didn't expect both of you to come. Oh no, Yu Jun. Do you really think I Jiu Yu? Just comes and goes as he pleases? Yu Jun has already discovered us, we have to go, Junior Sister. But, don't worry, we'll come back to investigate when we have the chance. We'll definitely find Master. The depths of Jiu Yu. He escaped? These human realm powerhouses are frequently coming in and out between Jiu Yu and Jiu Yu. They even left their mark on the Nine Heavens. What exactly is he looking for? His sword is even stronger now. It can actually hurt me. What's happening with the human realm? These past 800,000 years, powerful people have been appearing one after another. It's a pity that the human realm's glory is a thing of the past. After they failed to resist the heavens, they're all gone. The dead are dead, the wounded are wounded, those who have secluded themselves have secluded themselves. And those who have secluded themselves are heartbroken, heh, heartbroken by that person's ruthlessness, heartbroken by that person's death. Master, come out. Ouch. Master, are you all right? It's all right, it's thanks to you, otherwise, Master would have probably gotten lost in that spatial rift. Your face looks awful. Are you really all right? I'm not dead. I forcibly opened the GOU space and used the last move to escape quickly. I'm just a little weak now. Hey, master. Humph. What do you mean, hey? Master, don't joke around right now. This place is too scary. Don't worry, you have the amulet. As long as I'm close to you, they won't dare approach. What's the logic behind that? Also, stop talking inside my chest. I have a good idea. So, stop talking inside my chest. He he. He he. Master, is this your good idea? This scene doesn't look right. Good night. What's with the good night? Huh, so you good brothers are here too. Chiaur? Be careful, I think it's those shadows again. Me? What game are you playing? I want to play too. I bought herbs from her out when we first entered the Spirit Medicine Valley. We're sort of acquainted. She isn't a shadow, relax. I, I was just nervous. Chiaur, how did you end up here? Of course, I'm here to gather herbs. I wouldn't be here to sell them. Gathering herbs? This place is dangerous. You came in here alone? Of course not. Humph? Watch out. Give me. Back. See, we came together. Mother, this is the big brother who bought all our herbs. Calling me mother again. You're the reason I can't find a husband. I've told you so many times not to run off. We only have a few spirit talismans that his majesty gave us. What will we do if you run off? You guys aren't a family? He <laughs> he. Little Nan and I aren't married. We're just siblings, Chiaur. She's our little sister. She loves to make jokes. My name is Lu Yu, nice to meet you, Nan Yenling, nice to meet you. My name is Si Yen, nice to meet you, we were injured in an accident, and we're recovering, thank you for saving us. Big brother. Are you also here to gather herbs? Of course, I wouldn't be here to buy herbs, I'm here to find the spirit fruit. You're also looking for the spirit fruit? This? You are too? Then you don't need to search anymore, I already picked them all. Pick them all? You're pretty bold, picking them all, though he wouldn't have used them anyway. He <laughs> he. I was afraid Master wouldn't have enough. We were a step too late. We searched for almost half a month before finding this place. 
We never expected that you would have such good luck in just one day. Here. Is that enough? I have more if you need it. It really tastes like orange. What are you guys eating? The spirit fruit is one of the ten treasures of the spirit medicine valley, and you're just eating it like that. It can restore energy. Would you like to try one? No, no, no. I can't afford something so expensive. Thank you for the gift. Since you haven't fully recovered, let us lead the way and take you out of here. Thank you. Come on, come on. Don't always stick to other people. Stick to us more. Big brother. Don't lag behind. Chiao is so cute. I wish I had a sister like that. While the talismans in their hands are special, but the number of shadows here was far too many for them to handle all the way here. Nan Yenling and Lu Yu should only be at the first level of the divine realm. I fear, they were only able to find this place because of Chiao. Good brother, we have something to do, so we'll leave first. If you need help, remember to call us. Certainly. Master. Sister Yen Yen was restless all the way back. She must have been scared. You should go comfort her. Oh? You are such a kind girl. If you keep frowning like that, you will get wrinkles. What does it have to do with you if I get wrinkles? Why do you always like to hit people's heads? This fierce look is just right. Tell me, what happened in Jiu Yu? Who is being fierce? You are the one who is fierce. I met two people in Jiu Yu. They said, I'm not human but a god, but my parents gave birth to me and raised me. How could I be a god? There are other people in Jiu Yu. The situation was urgent at the time. I was only focused on saving her and didn't notice anything else. Did you almost expose Yan Yan's identity? Who was it? Master, I told you to come and persuade her. Why are you like this? Here you go. It must have been those people scaring you, saying nonsense. You must be hungry too. Do you want to eat? Thank you. Well, this is the second time you've saved me. But I'm just a little girl. I don't have anything to repay you. Just let me know if you need anything in the future. Oh? Then don't wait for the future. You can repay me now with yourself. Eh? Song Yi Woo Woo. Master, are you saying, what are you talking about? That kind of thing is clearly not allowed. What's wrong with that? Tower can come along too. Come again? Selling herbs, selling herbs, fresh herbs. Rare in the market. High quality. Come and have a look. Good. So cute girl. Let me have a look. What kind of herbs are there? So he was just helping him sell herbs. Human spirit fruit. Dark orchid. And this is the male and female twin grass. Rainbow amidba fruit. These, these are all top grade spiritual herbs. I'll take all of these. I'll offer 200,000 Tianyu coins. You are too greedy. You're bullying this girl because she doesn't know the prices. 200,000 Tianyu coins isn't even enough for a single leaf of dark orchid. I'll offer 2 million Tianyu coins, just for this human spirit fruit. 2 million? The fruit I ate earlier was that expensive? Even if I sold myself, I wouldn't get that much money. Everyone, if you have any of the herbs listed above, you can exchange them for herbs first. It was that person who gave you the human spirit fruit? Father, it was him. Foolish, he gave you such a great gift, yet you remain here, without any gratitude. But we don't have anything good to give him? Ridiculous, even if we don't have anything to give that young friend, we can do something for him. You are ungrateful, you are truly ignorant. Forget it. He has so many precious spiritual herbs, now he doesn't know how many people are eyeing them. This old man will go and protect him for two days, as a way of returning the favor. Stinky old man, we are all about to leave. Why are you still going to protect him for two days? He is also a divine realm expert. Absurd. Even if he is a divine realm expert, there are still many strong people eyeing him now. There are probably even divine realm level 2 and above here. Also, I see this boy has a good physique, since we are fated to meet. Maybe we can talk. For example, find a boyfriend for my younger sister. Humph? He he. Excuse me, but who are you? Why are you sitting here? Noise, I like sitting here. What's it to you? 
Are you eyeing some medicinal herbs but can't bring yourself to ask, trying to play a dirty trick? Forget it, as long as he doesn't cause any trouble, let him be. But why are you staring at me constantly this old? Could it be some kind of special preference? Kids got good bones. Are you interested in becoming my disciple? Not interested. Don't be hasty to refuse. There are many benefits to becoming my disciple. Furthermore, my little sister is unmarried. I could arrange a marriage for you. What do you think? Humph? Brother, I'm afraid I can't handle a little sister your age. Phew. Hey, though I look like this, my little sister is still young. Her figure is small and delicate. She's absolutely adorable. Oh? Really that good? If your little sister is really so good, why were you pushing me to marry her the moment you came in? Please take your exchanged herbs. Young friend, I see you have good bones and would like to take you on as a disciple, to guide and nurture you. Moreover, my little sister is virtuous and possesses cultivation, a great blessing to be delivered to your doorstep. How could you refuse? I have a wife already. Would that be a problem? It's not impossible. Welcome back any time. Kid, consider what I've said. No need to rush a decision. Get to know each other first. Develop some feelings. It's perfectly acceptable. Stinky old man, you're asking for trouble again. Chiaor is just a kid. You're so eager to marry Chiaor off. Be careful Chiaor reports you to the authorities and has you arrested. I, I just came here to protect this young friend. Humph, if you're going to stay, I'll keep you company. Let Xiao Nan and the others go first. So, the little sister he was talking about is you. It's getting late. I have to go. My junior uncle is waiting for me to deliver the medicine back. So soon? Here, the Zhu Tiz you need are inside. You need to heal your soul injury. So I've included some other complementary herbs. They should come in handy. Thank you. You're leaving? Xiao Nan and the others are preparing to leave too. Do you want to go with them? They can probably take you a long way. This? Let Xiao Xiao go with them. Big Brother doesn't trust us? Is it because of Chiaor? Big Brother. Chiaor isn't pretending. She is a child. She loves sweets and enjoys playing very much. My Dao heart is pure, like a child's, because of the special cultivation method. Not only is my body unable to grow, even my temperament can't mature much. I always maintain a child's innocence. I've suffered some setbacks in the past, so I'm being cautious. Maintaining innocence is a good thing, but your cultivation method will eventually encounter a great bottleneck. If your Tao heart has always been pure, there must be some great drawbacks. Your innocence will later become your nightmare. But maintaining innocence also preserves purity. It might be the best guarantee to overcome tribulation. If Big Brother still isn't at ease, how about Xiao being your hostage? Holding the little kid hostage? Forget it. That's it then. You go with them. It will be faster than going alone, and you'll have someone to watch over you on the way. Okay. No, why should I listen to you? Who I go with is my business. Who asked for your opinion? See you. We'll see each other again. Humph? The commission portrait finally arrived? I want to see the person His Majesty went to such great lengths to find. Who it is? Good medicinal herbs. Exchange medicine for medicine. Little friend, many people are after you. Indeed, many people are staring at Big Brother. Where, where are they? You haven't left yet? Ha, huh, the Luoyang twin flowers are here too. What quirk? The Luoyang twin flowers, they are the younger sisters of the Luoyang lord. Their city cultivation levels are not low. They have already stepped into the divine realm. The elder sister is called Luoyang and the younger sister is called Luo Luo, but these twin flowers have a quirk. They particularly like to snatch men and they snatch all of them. They actually see came to the spirit grass valley. It sounds like there's a lot of trouble. Just in case, I'll give them a strong dose of medicine tonight. Big brother, you can also refine medicine? What kind of medicine are you going to make? A single ingredient prescription created by a god who was in charge of marriage in the heavens. It just so happens that my herbs are also produced. Hee hee, brother, you're up to no good. Master, 
I've exchanged all the herbs on the list. I'm so tired. I didn't expect selling things to be so tiring. You've worked hard. Have a fruit and take a good rest. The medicine is almost ready, but I have to wait until midnight. Quickly hand over the lacquer man flower, or your granny will not spare you. Hurry up, hurry up. Granny and sis are still waiting to crush this thing and use it as a face mask. If you don't give it to us, we'll capture you and make you our servant, massaging our shoulders, washing our feet, and scrubbing our backs every day. Humph! A promise is a promise. What a promise is a promise, master. Dark night, strong wind, a night for murder. Tonight I only want the human spirit fruit to cure my husband's illness. None of you are fight me for it. Only children make choices. You take what you want. The rest is mine. Everyone, hold on, fellow Taoists. Looking at the herbs you sold today, you must be trying to avoid our sex rule of handing over herbs, right? And you are? This humble one is Chen Xian Wen, the young sect master of the Netherworld Spirit Sect. Although fellow Taoists' actions are inappropriate, to be able to find so many treasures, you must have some skills. This humble one admires talent. If fellow Taoist is willing to come to our Netherworld Spirit Palace as a guest official, I will guarantee your safety. You want to muddy the waters, Netherworld Spirit Sect? No, no, you guys go ahead and fight for it. Before he agrees to us, I won't interfere. Absurd. You dare disrespect this old man in my presence? You dare try to rob me while I'm here? Especially you two females. This old man is your elder, yet you are so rude. Bah! Perverted old man, foul mouth and always trying to take advantage. Enti isn't here tonight, you smelly old man still want to make waves? We want the lacquer man flower. Humph, then let this old man. I'm here to play with you. This old man is no pushover. Ah, such a dirty trick. Oh, such exquisite movement technique, a kindred spirit. Master Lu, where are you aiming that palm? Be careful or I'll chop off your filthy paws. Uncle, please have some shame. We sisters are your nieces. Why are you aiming for our behinds? Scoundrels, fists and feet have no eyes. Could it be that this old man did it on purpose? Humph. Old man Lou, these dirty tricks of yours won't work on me. Oh? Fists and feet have no eyes, am I right? I remember there's another. Ah, there's a pervert. Old man Lu, what benefits did they give you? Why are you standing up for an outsider today? Do you need a reason to be righteous? This isn't how you act righteously, and why haven't you let go? Master Lu, since you want to get involved in this mess, then don't blame us for being ruthless. Humph, cheap tricks. Master Lu, what did you throw at me? Could you please not scold me too, noisy? What a delightful battle. Master, are we too free this episode? There are too many people, so it's rare for me to watch from the sidelines. Do they all know each other? That's what happens when you live long enough. Chance. Humph. This, this drumbeat is. Luo Luo is being naughty. Someone's here to spank you. Auntie. Aninin, you're being naughty too, still like taking things from others with your sister. Do you want Auntie to come and catch you personally? Auntie. I'm all grown up now. You're a big girl now. You can't hit there. No way. I have to teach you sisters a lesson. Always snatching things from others. Be good or you'll get spanked. Lie down and lift your butt. Let's begin. Ouch. Was that the divine halo behind Chiaur just now? Yes, the starry sky realm. What a round divine halo. No, what a white halo. Ah, master. Stinky man, what are you staring at me for? Watch out or I'll gouge your eyes out. You can't swear. Why did Auntie help him steal his things? Wouldn't it be better to just split it evenly? He gave Auntie the spirit fruit. Besides, Auntie has been waiting for him in this spirit herb valley for almost half a month. The national teacher and princess of the heavenly saint kingdom, right? My elder brother and I have been ordered to wait for you for a long time. It's just a pity that we lost the portrait. That's why we didn't recognize you before. Yes, this is actually for you too, although you found it yourself. You knew I would come here and still needed the spirit fruit? 
Who exactly asked you to wait for me here? Want to know, he he. Then come with shower. You, no need to leave. That's grandfather. Grandfather came personally. He's a thief. Although I don't know why grandfather is back. But as long as he makes a move, no one here is a match for him. We must take him down. This humble one is Chin Chuan Wu. Greetings to the pavilion master. That legendary god of war, grandfather, bowing to that young man? Humph? Oh, it's Xiang Wen. It's been a while. You've grown so much. What are you doing here? I was taking a walk and I saw grandfather, so I came to pay my respects. Didn't your father tell you to pretend you didn't see me? And if you recognize me, pretend you don't. Ah, yes. After Emperor Lin Qin disappeared. The Netherworld Palace was controlled by the heavenly domain of the Nine Realms. If our whereabouts are exposed, none of us will survive. This generation is truly not as good as the last. I thought that guy was just pretending to be a fool, but I didn't expect him to be a real fool. Back then, Quan Wu and Emperor Linging visited the Heavenly Fate Pavilion together. I wonder if the pavilion master still remembers me. Quan Wu, of course I remember you. You even came to my heavenly fate pavilion for tea. Master, you clearly don't remember at all. All of your senior brothers have brought many bad friends to Tianming Pavilion. How can I remember them all? Xiaoer didn't expect that the big brother we met by chance would be the person we were looking for. So we really are fated. I should still call you uncle. Old brother Lin Qin even held me in his arms back then. Of course, brother sounds better. It won't shorten my lifespan if you call me that. So it was you, Quan Wu, who asked Xiao and the others to wait for me? No, I didn't ask the person to be the pavilion master. It's not convenient to talk here. Please come in and speak.